Hello and welcome to today's webinar on how the business of IT consulting works. You would want to watch this presentation if you want to get into IT and understand the economics behind it. You want to know in what ways you can be employed. You want to know the approximate compensation. You want to know the pros and cons of being an IT consultant. We first need to understand why companies need information technology. All businesses have core operations that generate revenue for them. These operations are complex and need automation via information technology to be viable. For example, an investment bank will have need for trading systems, banking systems, and compliance systems. Telecommunication companies need billing systems, CRM systems, for instance. Insurance companies need claims processing systems. This is how information technology supports the business operations. In information technology, like anything else, you have a mix of full-time employees and consultants. Full-time employment is when there is no layer between you and your employer. For example, you work directly for information technology departments of, say, Morgan Stanley or Verizon. Or you can work for a Tier 1 vendor like Deloitte, IBM, or Infosys. Here, you will work in client premises through the vendor. A third style is working for smaller consulting firms, where there is more than one layer between your final end client and your immediate employer. The real world is not as simple as what we just saw. The end client gives contracts to a preferred vendor. The preferred vendor can hire people on his W-2 or 1099. The W-2 is when the company runs your payroll and deducts taxes at its source. The 1099 is when the company gives you a gross check and you do your own taxes. The Tier 1 vendor might subcontract work to Tier 2 vendors, and these Tier 2 vendors again hire people on W-2s or 1099s. But this is not where this ends. All clients have multiple Tier 1 vendors, and all Tier 1 vendors have multiple Tier 2 vendors. All in all, it's a very complex ecosystem. When things are so complex, why do companies still hire consultants? First, there are certain liabilities that come with full-time employees like labor laws, severance, insurance, and sometimes work visa sponsorship. With consultants, you don't have to deal with any of this. The long-term cost of employees are higher than consultants. The cost of hiring employees is higher as there is more due diligence, and finally, there might be situations where companies need expertise in niche areas where talent is hard to find, but only for temporary projects. Full-time employees don't make sense in such situations. There are two terms you need to know about how vendors are engaged with end clients. Manage service agreements. This is where the entire project is outsourced to the vendor and the client has managerial oversights. However, the hiring, firing, adhering to service level agreements is all done by the IT vendor company. Typically, larger companies have the required infrastructure and human capital to take on managed service projects. Time and material, also called staffing. Here, the client provides requirements for individual positions and the vendor only provides the appropriate candidates. The hiring, day-to-day -day management, and service levels are taken care of completely by the client. This is typically done by smaller boutique IT companies, also called staffing agencies. Now, let's look at the various types of employment and what they mean for you. If you are a full-time employee, then there is no layer between you and your employer, and you will work in your own employer's premises. Your career growth and compensation are overseen by your employer. If you are employed by a Tier 1 vendor, then there is one layer between you and your employer, and you will typically work in the end client's premises. Outside the United States, your tier one vendors have their own premises. You will have two managers, one from the client that directly oversees your work and one from your employer. The manager from your employer might not oversee you on a daily basis, and so it's more of a dotted line. With a tier two vendor, you have more than one layer. 
You will always work in the client's premises, and the only relation with your employer will be a bi-weekly paycheck and possible visa sponsorship. You might not even see your employer's premises. Now, let's see the one thing that interests everyone, compensation. To be honest, for a strictly equivalent position, you always earn a little more when working as a full-time employee. Let's see how this works. Let's take an example of a position where the client is willing to offer $100,000 in salary and $20,000 in discretionary bonus to an employee. The company spends $120,000 and you get $120,000. No layers involved. The same position as offered through a Tier 1 vendor would have meant that a portion needs to be paid to the vendor. So the company might spend a little more, let's say $140,000 total. However, $40,000 is kept by the vendor, so the employee only gets a total of $100,000. Now, if there was another vendor involved, then both would keep a portion of the amount. In this example, let's assume Tier 1 vendors keep $40,000 and Tier 2 vendors keep $15,000 more. This means that the employee only gets $85,000. So notice how, for the same position, the amount you make depends on the number of layers involved in the engagement. If full-time employment has better average compensation, then why choose consultancy? First, you have the potential to make more money if you are offered overtime. Second, you are only paid for the hours you work, so you can be more flexible with your vacation schedules or insurance plans. Third, work visas. This is an important factor. Smaller IT consulting companies are open to sponsoring work visas as they do it as part of their business model. While the larger end clients are much more selective and have a lot of bureaucratic red tape. To sum up everything, let's look at the pros and cons of consultancy. The pros include potential for high billing, flexible work conditions, and work visa sponsorship. On the flip side, you are limited in your vertical career growth. You might have to travel a lot and change projects frequently. As a result, you may have fluctuating income. Thank you for listening to this webinar. I hope you found it useful. Please feel free to leave comments on this video. Do call us at 201-340-4718 or check us out at www.cuebacoglobal.com. We offer a variety of information technology courses and interview preparation packages. Feel free to email us to schedule a live demo webinar. Thank you once again and do check out our other videos.